Hello and welcome to this Warcraft replay. It's going to be the first of a best of two from the WCA Group C matches, and this will be a human vs night elf matchup uh, once again. Yeah, um, yeah. So no orcs, no, nor undead in Group C. Uh, we have Sonic spawning in as the yellow night elf player in the bottom right, and across to the cross spawn. Uh, not not cross spawn, close spawn. We have Tho, the purple human player, uh, swinging, in, swinging in also in the bottom right. So yeah, uh, we did see what this matchup could lead to um, when you know both players, human and night elf, get to close spawn. We, uh, if you haven't if you haven't seen it, uh, it the series I'm talking about is Hawk versus Elegant. That didn't go too well and. Um, I guess it was mostly because of Elegant's mistakes, but anyway, uh, I don't expect Sonic to do that, and I wouldn't usually expect Elegant to do that. I think it was just some sort of lapse of judgment that led to that, and we are going to have those creep camps. The creep camp may be harassing the Ancient of War, but the Wisp may be looking to reset the aggro, which we'll be able to have done. Uh, yeah, It is going to be a late altar of elders, so it looks like Sonic wants to go for a tavern hero. Meanwhile, I would imagine those just going for the standard archmage, which he is doing. We have militia moving immediately, and I guess they want to take advantage of no heroes just yet. Um, the altar of elders is nearly completed, so Tavern Hero might pop up soon. Oh, but it looks like those going straight after that Altar of Elders. Um, maybe looking to force the cancel there, but I think the Altar of Elders will be finished before uh, it could get destroyed. So Tavern Hero will be able to be hired up here, and as soon as Tho sees that, it's no longer um, meaningful to continue attacking. He's gonna go after the archers and wisps. Uh, thankfully he was able to take down one archer. There we go with a wisp taking down the elemental and we have the beastmaster coming out for Sonic so yeah. One of three heroes that you could that you'll mostly see from the tavern. Uh, the other two are being the dark ranger and of course the panda but Beastmaster is always a very strong start, especially you know since he can toss down to up up to like three quill beasts. Um, but we don't know where that first quill beast was. Oh, there he is. He's chasing down a footman. Can he get him? Who knows? Uh, it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. He let him go. <clears throat> All right, Beastmaster is laying down quite a bit of damage on the Archmage, but <clears throat> he's also actually receiving quite a bit himself. Uh, I hear the elemental attacking somewhere, but it doesn't look like it was the elemental. It might have been the turtles. So yeah, massing up on quite a bit of archers early on for Sonic. Uh, I guess it's pretty much expected when you, the Beastmaster comes out. Um, a lot of piercing damage could maybe backfire for Sonic since defense could maybe screw things up here as you know the footman numbers get higher. Archmage got himself a little cornered as he was going to pick up uh, a pair of boots but uh, he, thankfully he does have a TP scroll for that. Beastmaster, <clears throat> well not entirely sure what he's looking to do. Maybe he should have gone back to maybe use those moonwells before attacking. Uh, little Archmage doesn't look like the Arcane Vault has been placed down just yet either. Um, a bit of an awkward start here from Tho. He's neglected to go for you know either a town hall or a keep. So he's pretty much gone mass footman, which. Uh, Sonic's also gone for as well. No semblance of tech nor expand. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what what's going to happen. It's 
it's honestly going to rely on who has the better tier 1 and I think Tho has the better tier 1 here. I mean he's picked off more archers than Sonic's picked off more footmen. So yeah it's not looking too good for a Sonic unfortunately. A player's forces are under attack. Archers are still running away from those footmen and yeah, well, the Archmage will most likely get himself that level 2 if he picks up that Archer. Um, will he? Who knows. One more hit will do. Oh, okay, we have Huntress is coming out. Double Ancient of War, Ancient Protector also being placed down as well, just in case we have some early attacks at the main base once again. Uh, so Huntresses are coming out. We did see that the Archmage hit level 2. Um, okay. Beastmaster still hasn't hit level 2 and he's actually facing quite a number of footmen. Uh, uh, I don't know how to describe this. At this point, I think we need a little more Huntresses to deal with these number of footmen. So maybe Sonic's going to try and avoid as much confrontation as possible. Uh, the first Ancient of War will most likely fall here as it doesn't look like those going to let up on the damage. Level 2 has been gained on the Beastmaster. What will he go for a second ability? Um, <coughs> Hawks are not not the most telltale things against non-orc matchups. So it is going to be interesting to see what he takes second. Honestly he could just you know, pick something sick and arbitrarily and then not use it. Um, as you can see, the Beastmaster is kind of struggling in terms of mana. The Ancient of Wonders should be placed down very soon, because, well, if not, uh, those Moonwalls are going to have a really, really rough time. Um, so, yeah, <coughs> it does seem like the Footman threat was pushed back, even though we didn't have that many Huntresses to push them back with, uh, well it is those judgment in the end. Okay, very first creep cast, both players are being cleared out, Cloak of Shadows has been picked up for the Beastmaster, and <coughs> substitute agility for the Archmage. Looks like this Ogre Warrior Camp will be next as well for Tho, so pretty much mirrored for both sides. Um, and yeah, the Huntress counts are increasing. Sadly, Sonic is still sticking to tier 1, meanwhile Tho is jumping to tier 2, and he's almost, you know, completed that jump. Blacksmith is being placed down, and perhaps Rifleman might be the next uh, choice here. I mean, we did see Hawks, you know, favor of Riflemen, as well as the standard Double Sanctum units. So we might maybe see Tho, you know, taking that adaptation. <coughs> ad uh, ad adaptation, sorry, not adaptation. And Thunderhawks will be coming out for the Beastmaster, so that does indicate he did hit level 3 as well as the Archmage. So, magic damage. Uh, I guess the only thing that could deal with this Thunderhawk would be Elementals, but uh, the Thunderhawk has pretty much done quite a bit of damage itself already. Um, it can't stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Elementals, unfortunately. Oh, and Tho comes out with the Panda. Um, hmm. A rather interesting choice, especially against a Night Elf matchup. I don't think we see Pandas against Night Elves all that much. Um, but, uh, well it has worked out so far, the panda's halfway to level 2 already. Unfortunately, Huntresses are quite low, uh, which will, of course, be very nice for that panda to execute with the Breath of Fire. Moonstone, uh, not Moonstone, well Moonstone has been used, but what I wanted to say was the Ancient of Wonders was taken down. Uh, 
Yeah, this is actually problematic for Sonic here, though it is not laying down with the pressure. Tier 2 is on the way for Sonic, but not entirely sure you know, what Sonic could do. Actually, in fact, we have GG coming out as the Beastmaster was taken down at level 3. And that will be game of this of this first game. So yeah. <coughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, I actually need to get a drink. Because my throat is not actually in the best of conditions. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next game. Take care.